A traffic stop escalates, ending in a chaotic scene and three people arrested. This happened last Thursday, April 21st, just before 2.30 in the afternoon at the Pines apartment complex in Graham. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims joins us now live from that complex. And Aaliyah, I hear you spoke to the people who were arrested when everything settled down. What did they tell you? Yeah, Neil, they tell me this is where this whole situation unfolded. And I spoke to the man who pulled up behind me at this complex who said that he was stopped for a seatbelt violation. And he says what happened next really shocked him because he didn't think things would escalate the way they did. Take a look at the video for yourself. Hey. He's choking him and he's still holding him. A traffic stop takes a wrong turn. Devontae Wood says he was pulling back into the Pines apartment on Ivy Street when a police stopped him and followed behind. Said I had my seatbelt off, but that's not what he gave me the ticket for. He gave me a ticket for no license. People who live at the complex say they were concerned about their friend's safety and ran outside to catch it all on their cameras, including Matt Cobb and his younger brother, Wesley. And as of us taking on the court, they gave us guidelines to don't cross, don't cross these guidelines and y'all okay, so nobody never crossed the guidelines. Neighbors say that's when police tried to detain a 16-year-old in the crowd, but he started running away from officers. Wesley Cobb says he tried to stop the minor to prevent the situation from getting worse. The crowd began to interfere with their investigation, and at some point they got too close for safety reasons. I was telling the police officers to chill, and one police officer come grab me from behind and pulled me and pushed me out the way. The situation escalated to this altercation, ending up with three people, including Wesley and his brother, being arrested. The three arrests were made were not... They had, they had nothing to do with the driver of the car. Tony Velez, public information officer with Graham Police Department, says they have seen an increase in crime at the complex. They responded to about 17 calls in the last few months, including home invasions, shootings, and bullets going through walls. If I was a resident there, I would be highly concerned. You know, uh, people don't, they have a right to feel safe in their homes and in their communities. When you get bullets flying randomly through people's apartments and into their, their motor vehicles, that's not a safe place. Wesley admits the neighborhood has seen police in the area more in the last year. People, people do complain about it, like there has been shootings, but like none of them, it's not, it's not been a... He just wishes the situation could have been handled differently. People, they've been telling me like I was in, I was in the wrong, the police officer was, he's just doing his job and stuff like that, and I'm, I would feel otherwise. Now, a spokesperson with Graham Police Department tells me there were at least three officers involved in this situation, and they are still on duty. Now, the investigation regarding this traffic stop is still ongoing. Live in Graham, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News.